Hi, Scorpios. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for uh, coming to this video. And I want to just kind of say um, thank you for everything. Thank you for being the, pe the person that you are, being a beautiful spirit and light in this world. Um, first, I want to talk about the retrograde just really quickly. It ends on February 21st. And you're going to, if you have not watched the video yet, I highly suggest you to watch it. Um, it's, you're just going to feel upset and maybe can be frustrated, but please do not spend any much money. Pay what you need to pay, but save your money and uh, don't sign any important contracts and be careful on your communication and those types of things. Okay. And the last thing, please expect an ex to return and call you and message you to get back in your good graces. All right, so leading into the exes, as we're seeing so much in, in our readings about how um, the exes keep showing up in our life, and we're, because we're Scorpios, for one. We're Scorpios, and we're beautiful people, loyal, deep. We love hard, and we do what's right. Yes, there's some bad boys and Scorpios out there, but most of us are eagles or a phoenix. Now, the eagle, most of you don't know, there are, there are three levels of being a Scorpio. There's the poison level, which is the ones who will stab your t car tires and, um, you know, the carve the knives and, you know, key your car and those types of things. Uh, that's the poison Scorpio, okay? But the eagle Scorpio is about the part of you are doing great and you're going along in your life and you're flying high and you can see things and you everything is just positive and everything feels good majority of the time but the highest level of scorpio is when the eagle takes a, no, a dive to to something happens to that eagle during their life and that it basically you get scorned you get burned and through those ashes, you rise up as the phoenix because now you have rebirthed yourself. You have became a new person. And this is very true, Scorpios. And I don't know how much you believe in this or not, but it is true. It happened to me. And I would just be vulnerable to tell you that before I met my narcissistic ex, I trusted everyone. I wanted to see the good in everyone. I wanted to see the beauty that everyone has a good heart. Everyone has great potential. Everyone that I meet would not do me wrong, right? So, and learning through that experience, you know, like I said, us, us as Scorpios, we love immensely intense with deep compassion and loyalty, okay? Sorry, my news. Um, that's how we are. And I was the ego type. But when this, when I started running into this narcissistic person, I did not know what had happened. I was asking, what is going on? What's the matter with me? You know, I'm a good person. I'm a great person. I try hard. I do everything right, like I should in a relationship. And I'm sure you did too. And I had a blindfold on. I saw the red flags. I saw the warnings. But me being an eagle wanted to see everything beautiful. I wanted everything to be right. I wanted everything to be balanced. I wanted to, to uh, be with this person, right? But when I started realizing I was being disrespected and, and, and manipulated and the feelings just started overpowering me, and the moment that I felt my weakness was is that to see someone that you really love and you, you strive for to make this work, stab you in the back and betrayed you and you know lose thousands of dollars and lose your time and your energy and um and but understand i just want you to kind of say, say something to you that everything in this world is built by energy okay by the heavens above above and the universe and everything god gave us a sun right for for our energy for our life so everything is built by energy. So what has happened is um, I went from this ego person. And while I was in with this narcissistic relationship, I was coming down off my ego level. And I came to the bottom. And, it, and he crushed me. Excruciating. 
um, felt like my heart had been ripped out. I couldn't believe that this person was really like this. Once I started seeing the truth and who this person, when the mask fell off. And not to mention, I was working overseas and I didn't have any family. And he just gets up on a plane and leaves me there in another country, which I had at this time, I had met a few people as friends. But could you imagine? He got on a plane and left me there and flew back home and went to a third party. And so I couldn't understand what was going on. The apologies, the fake apologies and things like that. But it was the week, it was the most bottom level felt I have ever felt in my life. I felt like I was the coming off that bed with, with, you know, being hurt and, and excruciating pain. And with that being said, I did not realize I was going through the dark night of the soul. And I was going to be, I had to burn down to my ashes of everything, the purging, everything that's out of me about this person. And then I transformed into the Phoenix. How do I know I'm a Phoenix now? Because I know when I look back, this person would never this type of person would never ever come back in my life again. There is a wall with a cement wall. Okay, a seal, steel door with a cement wall around the door. This type of person, so I'm very protective of my energy where before I was free will about my energy, being very friendly, very kind, giving too much kindness. I learned I can't do that. I can't do this with everybody. So I learned this about myself. So if you're going through excruciating pain right now as a Scorpio, you are going through the dark night of the soul and you're going to be reborn to the Phoenix level. You're going to feel empowered. And once you change into that Phoenix, you're going to see your opportunities. You're going to see a different world. You're going to recognize immediately on the energy of others for things like you might get frustrated very easy or you say you just can't tolerate anything about this person you will feel their toxicity as before i did not i didn't see the toxic but now i can honestly say i can pick up on someone's toxic immediately and i know i have became stronger i have become mentally stronger and, you know, people ask me, why are you still single is the magic word a lot of people ask. My answer is because I choose to be single. Because I have not found the person that is right for me in this universe as of yet. And if I never meet that person, I'm okay with being alone. This is when you become the phoenix. And the ego, you want to depend on someone. You want somebody to love you and care about you. But in the Phoenix, you, you're, you learn to love yourself more than you did before. And you don't rely on someone else's love or happiness to make you happy. Since I changed into the Phoenix, I went and lived in another country by myself. I, and I explored the world by myself. I made a, lots of great friends. I get on a plane and go fly to the you know, to another state or another country to go to the beach. Now, of course, not during COVID, but just the saying, this happened before all this. And now I know I could stand on strong in myself. I could do anything that life offers me. Scorpios, just because you got knocked down does not mean you can't get up and you will rebuild to the Phoenix level. You are the only Zodiac that can do this. And I want you to feel the strong intuition. And this is why um, when you empower yourself, your intuition about other people are going, is going to become stronger. You're not, you're going to know it. It's like the high priest is feeling. You're going to know everything around you. Okay. So you will get out of this hurtful stage that you have been put in. But understand, this was divine as well. This was divine for you to teach you to make you rise above and become the phoenix that you are that's waiting to be reborn. The second thing I would say, 
the person that you were with. It was the universe's inter intervention on your life. You have free will. And sometimes the universe will put you with a person to give them another opportunity to change themselves, to become better, a better person in the world. So they send a good, a good glowing, light-hearted person like you and like me to help those people, to show the compassion and the love for them in hopes that they will change to a, come closer to the light of the universe and God because they're living closer to the demonic world. So the ancestors, the universe, God, angels, everyone tries to get this person to see how beautiful you are. But that person rejects you and does these awful things. And so that's when the universe sees what this person is doing to you and they must be removed from your life. They have to take that person out of your life because they know you deserve better and you will be receiving good karma. It might be in a way of protecting you in car accidents. It might protect you in your health, protect you in your finances, and protect your life. But, uh, but in that, with that being said, the universe protects you. And surrounds you even your ancestors is seeing it they know you are being treated wrong so when you're hurting I wish I had someone to explain this to me but when you're hurting and you feel like you are being stabbed in the back and the heart and the energy the universe saw it they know what has happened to you so with that you're going to be protected and take you out of a bad relationship and that a relationship one day is going to open a door to the right person for you or the right job for you he will start seeing once you really let go of this pain and you're not talking about the, this person is like you know yesterday's newspaper that you no longer care you, things just start coming great to your life I mean job opportunities and things that you wish for that you don't, you've forgotten about will start coming true you're going to see your parents you're going to see this person sometime in your dream so keep a dream journal okay and you're going to see relatives your grandparents in your dreams and you're going to see, and when you see these people, you might have a brother or an uncle or someone you really loved that was very close to you. Even it could have been a friend. These people are randomly going to be in your dreams. And when that happens, they're letting you know. They're watching you. They're visiting you, Scorpio. They are there with you. You think it's a dream, but they brought you into that world of dream world to give you enlightenment but they're showing you they are with you in spirit and Scorpio please if anything do not go back to this person who broke you use your logic build your strength cry when you need to do everything that pour your love into yourself as you did this person they didn't deserve you but this is part of the plan from the universe to test you to test your kindness to test your would you do it so once you learn this lesson the universe knows and they must remove this person out of your life so don't fight the universe don't fight trust the process of what God, universe, that, and, and your ancestors and your spirits are trying to tell you. Because you know it's wrong to be with this person. But the good news, Scorpio, you're going to have the happy life that you deserve. You're going to feel like someone take it, has taken a 
thousand pounds off your life and you can feel free so when this person leaves your life I want you to remember you you will become stronger and you will be a different person you'll be your old self but at the same time you're gonna be a different person that's the Phoenix level I'm talking about and that is that's gonna help you heal and I can feel right here as a Scorpio this is where you're hurting and you might like I said um, you have a little bit of chest pain mm -hmm. and it's coming over to your arm and down your arm and around the shoulders and the neck and this is because you are not releasing it okay and maybe even in the hip area you know down the back of your leg you might have like something like skyisha nerve feeling cramps in your kneecaps things on legs those kinds of things the body elements and you won't even understand why so Scorpios I want to say thank you so much for loving me too and giving me your light I can feel it when you give comments and I can feel it around and um, and what your heart is saying so I want you to love yourself and I want you to empower yourself tomorrow's a new day Scorpio don't waste it I want you to keep your soul pure light your candles meditate pray um, laugh go on YouTube and find a funny video watch dogs you know learn a lot from pets right <laughs> so just um, know that I care about your life as a person and that I want to send you that light from my heart to your heart okay so when I say send in love and light it's just not a saying it's something that you should say even someone does not know me physically in the physical world I still do care and this is the very reason I started this channel um, is because I could never understand why I was always feeling someone else's uh, pain I could feel it even if I'm near someone and people would just randomly walk up to me and have a conversation about their life and I just never could understand that it happened to me a couple of days ago <laughs> uh, you know people just walk up to me and I always thought this is strange why is people walking up me and like they know me but I mean some people are 70 80 year olds doing this and I have been and so if you really look at my face I was told this by one of those older people that's in their 80s and 90s they looked at my face and they said I still see the little girl on your face and I'm like what I'm not <laughs> I didn't know how to take that they said I can still see the little girl in your face and I said really why do you think that because they said pure souls always keep their childlike face and so Scorpio you have a pure soul you're beautiful people you do know as Scorpios you're the most attractive zodiac in the world so that is why you're you have this maybe the same type of things happen to you and I'm not saying attraction physically as well but it's something beautiful inside you that people you just radiate to other people so Scorpio heal yourself and the only thing I would ask you to do is pay it forward when you see someone that is hurting over a relationship just give them that advice that they're loved in this world okay and maybe you might want to start your own YouTube channel too you know maybe something different um, but I am 
I am a super empath and the super empath, which I did not know existed in me until I met that narcissist. Now my face is kind loving and inside me is pure soul, but I am a super empath and a Scorpio on top of that. So of course this person got the, the stinger torture of his life. And it exhausts me. I was so lethargic after for the weeks and weeks after that event. I did not know what happened to me. I was so exhausted. I was so different. And the more I researched it, it's just I discovered I'm a super empath that was born to love and have compassion for the world to bring light to other people's lives. But also it could be that one percent that my super empath that can destroy a narcissist and I lost my insanity I felt like I lost my sanity but I'm not really <laughs> he deserved it but but again don't seek revenge because it can come back to you okay Scorpio but I want to say stay beautiful people stay the best that you can be smile every day um, be different and love yourself. Go to the gym, go do facials, hang out with your friends, go to sporting events, go to movies, go watch a movie by yourself and eat your popcorn. Do what you need to do. But I do want to say this. If you're crying and you're still hurt because of the narcissist, please only give that narcissist no more than 10 minutes of your time each day. Okay? You say, why not? Because the more you dwell on it, the more damage you're going to do to yourself emotionally. So please don't do that. And it could be physically, like some type of um, memory loss or things like that. So you might be experiencing that. You might be experiencing memory loss. And that's the reason why. So give yourself 10 minutes if you need to. But the rest of the day belongs to you. Promise yourself that. Okay, Scorpio, drink lots of water. Retrograde is here. I love all of you. I want to say thank you for everything, for all the love and support and donations. <laughs> so I didn't expect that, but thank you to the people who did that. And thank you so much to the people that for personal readings. Um, I'm really, you know, touched um, that you chose me. And, um, and I try to do my best and to help you with that advice okay but again if you would like you know how to reach me in my description box so um if you have any questions or you just need a some advice i don't mind to share that when i get this moment okay so thank you for your your support with me thank you so much for everything you have given me um i stepped on this platform as just a reader and just want to help people and I feel like I have connected so much with a lot of you. So thank you so much for that. And um, so I will let you know. And if I'm going to do, I'm thinking to do a live reading next week if my schedule fits me. But in any case, um, I will keep posting videos. And, you know, I hope that it resonates with you to help you heal. And if there's anything I could do, feel free to reach out to me and talk to me, okay? But until then, I want to see you smile. Um, put that big smile on your face. Be a warrior. Be a um, a king or, um, you know, let's say emperor and empress, warrior. You know, be happy and, and lift your light. Be that shining light. Get out of that darkness and bring your spiritual light back to yourself, okay? And let, it's going to have to take time. Raise your vibrations. Um, don't settle for less, okay? Your eyes are here in the front of your head and not behind you. So you look forward, right? So think about that. And I hope, Scorpios, that you 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 have my love and my heart. So stay strong and everything's going to be fine, okay? And I hope this video has given you some type of encouragement and understanding. But I believe all of you can be whatever you want successfully in your own way. 
Okay, Scorpio. So anyway, I'm going to let you go because I could talk for two hours. <laughs> so I will see you next time, Scorpio. Stay true to yourself and love yourself and uh, embrace the world that is offered in your hands. Okay. And I will see you on online on, on readings. Okay. Thank you. And feel free to always reach out to me too. All right. Love hearing from you. Take care and I'll see you soon. All right. Um, let me get my ear here. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.